C programs follows a basic structure defined by the developer of C language. In this video, we will discuss key points related to structure of C program. Structure of C program can be divided into five sections. Documentation, link, declaration, main function, and user-defined function. In next two minutes, let's understand use of these five sections using C program. To understand structure of C program, we will use C program to read and print roll number of a student. Let's identify various sections in this C program. The first three lines in this code is written under comments and this is a documentation section where we write program related information like program definition, name of developer, date of development, etc. Hash include stdio.h is a part of link section. System libraries, header files like stdio.h are linked with the C program using this link section. Printf function, scanf function, these are the functions which are defined under this header file. So we are able to use printf and scanf function in this program because of this hash include statement. Next one is the main function section where we write our logic of program. So in our program, we want to read and print roll number of student. So this is the logic to read roll number from user and this is the logic to print roll number of user. This main function section is further divided into two parts. The first one is variable declaration part where we declare all variables and the second one is executable part where we write our key logic related to execution. Remember that all sections are not required in all C programs. Some of the sections are optional in C program. In previous C program, we have used only three sections, documentation, link and main function. Now let's see one more example where all five sections of C programs are covered. For that, we will use the program to find area of circle. This is the documentation section where we define program related information. This is a link section where we include stdio.h header file with this program. And this is the declaration section where we define symbolic constant pi pi with this value 3.1416. Also, we declare a function prototype float area float r. So that is the function prototype we are declaring. So under declaration section, we declare symbolic constant function prototype as well as global variables if required. This is the main function of this program. And the last one is user defined function section. So according to the program requirement, we can define various user defined function. So this is the program where we use all five sections. Now let's see key points related to structure of C program. Documentation section describes program details like program definition, author name, date of development, etc. This is optional section but advisable to use. The next one is link section which allows us to link system libraries, header files like stdio.h, math.h, etc. with the C program. Third one is declaration section which is used to declare function prototype, global variables and symbolic constant. This is optional section. According to our program requirement, we can write main function. We write program logic here. It's starting point of execution of C program. 
it can be further divided into two parts variable declaration part and executable part and the last one is user defined section it can be used to write logic of user defined functions this is also optional section according to our program requirement we can use user defined function section